In this video tutorial, we will learn about counters that are often used while developing Android app. In this video, we will make two counter projects that count backwards and forwards that we can control with a button. Let's start with our first project. Create an empty Kotlin project. Set and sync Gradle extension settings of Kotlin project. Create a counter text. Adjust text and size. Set the ID to access the text. Create an object to count backwards within the onCreate function. Code to make a counter that counts down 1 by 1 from 16. Click on Object to transfer the necessary functions. We transferred two functions. In the onTick function, we will code what we want to do when the counter counts down, and in the onFinish function, we will code what we want to do when the counter counts down and reaches zero. Check the text's ID. Sync counter with text. Here we need to divide by 1000. This is because the counter is in milliseconds. When the timer has finished counting down, let's see a text indicating it has completed. Don't forget to start the counter with start. Run the program and check the operation of the counter. As you can see the counter counts down starting from 16. When it reaches 0, we will see the text we have determined in the application. In our second project, we will control the counter with the buttons and count forward. Set the text in the design section of the project. Add two start and stop buttons to control the counter. Set the name of the buttons. Specify on click name to assign buttons to task. Click the show system UI button to see how the project will look on the phone. Don't forget to click the Infer Constraints button for the project design to work properly. Let's start coding our project. To create a counter, define a variable, runnable, and handler, synchronized to a zero. Since there is no handler file in our project, import it. Create the function of the start button to assign a task to the button. View is not available in our project. Import the view file into the project. Check the onCreate ID of the start button. Create a runnable object function. Transfer the required function from the object. We can think of the run function as a while loop. Increase the number by 1 and check the ID of the text. Show the number on the screen each time. Set the delay to 1 second. You can set any time you want for the delay. If the counter is greater than 15, create an if loop to reset it. Do not forget to write the link code. Create a function for the stop button and check the button on click ID. Type the link code and display it on the screen. Run the program. As you can see the counter has started counting. You can stop the counter with the stop button. Thanks to the if control, the counter will be reset if it is greater than 15. As I said at the beginning of the video, 
counters are often used while developing Android apps. Do not forget to develop the project. If you have any questions let me know in the comments. Don't forget to follow our social media accounts to see and support programming related posts.